Hey, what is up everybody? Name is Dirge Fang, and today I just completed my very first day of my Windows 8 experience. And I have to say, I actually enjoy it very much. I mean, as you can see, I have a normal desktop and all my programs over here. And the good thing is, when I upgrade to Windows 8, all my programs and data from Windows 7 transferred over seamlessly pretty much. I mean all my stuff is still here. The only problem I've had is with a few small programs that don't seem to support Windows 8 yet. Um, one of them was a uh, Punk Buster so um, when I was trying to play Medal of Honor, Warfighter, and Battlefield 3 for s it just um, Battlefield 3 kicked me off due to Punk Buster um, errors and I'm not sure if that was Punk Buster being Punk Buster or just it not recognizing Windows 8 or some conflict there. Medal of Honor just did not find servers for some reason, so I'm not sure if that's um, Windows 8 or just the game. World of Warcraft worked just fine. Dishonored worked just fine. A few of the other games I tried worked just fine. Um, other than that, I mean, it acts just like uh, Windows 7, except for the start menu, which I've actually grown to, I mean, like, really. Um... You could drag all this stuff around, so there's um, three different sections, I believe, where, or, okay. Well, <laughs> you could drag this stuff around, um, lay it out, whichever way you want. Um, to the top left, uh, left here is the mail option where you could, I'll actually show you. I believe you could connect to your Gmail, Outlook, um, Hotmail, and just different accounts so you could access them all in one convenient mail hub. Uh, this might take a while to load... There we go. As you can see, you connect different accounts here. And uh, in order to go back, I'm not sure what the exact key is called, but it's like a Windows-looking key, which is between the Control and Alt on the left side on the bottom. So we'll go back. Um, here's your calendar. Um, it, I'm not sure if I accidentally did, did something, or it automatically connected my Facebook um, to my uh, Start menu, or... Windows in general, not really sure how to, uh, what they did there, but, um, calendar. Um, this will actually show, um, Facebook friends' birthdays so you don't forget. You could, uh, also put, um, actually, I'll show you this. Um, you could put custom, uh, events there so you don't forget. Uh, get out of here. There we go. People, you could add your Google account, you could add your LinkedIn, um, Facebook, as you could see, and, uh, I believe one other one. I'm not going to go in there because you actually see people's names that I know. Um, messaging, basically, if someone messages you over um, when they're instant, uh, eh. in the social networking messengers, I know Facebook has a messenger. Um, it'll actually show up here. Um, here's a weather um, for your local area. This is actually not where I live. I'm, I'll eventually switch it over to actually where I live. Um, desktop. As you can see, desktop is treated more like an app, so if I were to click desktop, it just brings, brings me back here. Go back to the start menu, Internet Explorer, everyone's favorite uh, web browser. Um, actually, I've actually liked the uh, you new know, Internet Explorer. It's fast, reliable so far. Um, store brings you to um, a place where you actually find quite a bit of apps. As you can see, I was looking through this before. Um, Netflix, Skype, um, I believe eBay has an app on here somewhere. You just have a huge selection of apps. Um, maps, it's like a Google Maps function. SkyDrive, there's your uh, cloud uh, cloud solution right there. Um, photos, is, I'm not sure where these photos came from. I think they're stock or something, but you could keep your photos in there. Um, stock market information, there's sports. Uh, Hurricane Sandy, I'm feeling the rain and wind right now. Um, Bing just shows you like some of the trending stuff, as you can see. Hurricane Sandy. Um travel locations here's this is pretty neat this is your um xbox locations here i'll actually show you this will bring you to your xbox games where you can look at um windows games and xbox games so you could actually put your profile on here if you go over here i've yet actually yes i did so i mean my friends are here and stuff like that so i could actually purchase things on xbox live there's my recent game activity um that's about it for this get out of here there we go. Camera, you can set up your um, webcam or mic. Um, music, it brings Xbox Music. It's sort of like a Pandora, pretty much. Um, video, you could have uh, you could view different videos, such as movies, uh, uh, yeah, 
I cannot talk today. Xbox videos, so you can watch different movies, stuff like that. And here's where you could actually put on um, different apps. And um, say if something's um, not here that you want to get to, such as computer, this was originally not here for me, just a right click, go to all apps on the bottom right, and here's everything that you pretty much have installed currently on your computer. Um, here's some of the stuff that was already included all my other stuff and say if you want something like a control panel computer um, command prompts some of these things could be really important these are just all the way at the end of this list there's nothing I really want to add right now since I still have yet to play around with it much um, that's about it for uh, for a start menu I mean I know people were griping about this a little bit but I've actually grown grown to like it over my only one day of actually using it so let's get actually yeah there's something else I want to show you say if you open up multiple tabs of these just go to your top right ah, it's not top yeah top left uh, there we go and you could actually uh, switch between them seamlessly um, to uh, say if you want to uh, restart your computer um, just go into the right corner you can either to on the top right or bottom left or bottom right uh, I'm failing right now. Devices, this will actually show like my second monitor. Um, this will show my shared devices. Um, say if I have a shared folder, it'll actually show up here. You could search for different uh, search different programs. Settings, um, actually this is where you can turn off your computer. It shows your um, wire network or wireless. Um, different keyboards, um, notifications. It's good to see power, restart, sleep, shut down. And that's about it. I mean... Geez, I've actually been enjoying myself um, using the new operating system, and I can't really complain. I mean, it's overall pretty good, but that's about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.